us grow in love, grow in love. Take care of all your business, cause you boss. Entrepreneurial fitness, run it up, run it up. Shorty, you my love queen, I can't get enough. I'm big water, cancer, Scorpio, like king of... What's going on, y'all? It's MD Mills, a.k.a. Ancient Wizard. I'm back with another video. We're going to be doing... Uh, we're going to keep up with the uh, the species readings. So, right now we get ready to do origins and see what entities do we have that's really got it to this video. What entities do we have right now currently speaking to us for me to give the messages to you, all right? So, let's see who... Do we have with the message first? Who do we have for the message first? Who do we have with the message first? Who has got it to this video for this message? What entities do we have? Okay, Andromedans. Andromedans. That's the hybrids. Multi species hybrid. Okay, so if you're an Andromedan, because this came down face down as well. I'm going to be curious. What is it? Mermaid? Okay, Andromedans and mermaids. So, we're going to go with Andromedans. All right, Andromedans, this is for you. Some of y'all could be mermaids, uh, could be siren mix. It says hybrid, so. But for those who resonate with the Andromedan species, if you have Andromedan blood, if you're part of the Andromedan bloodline, if that was your last incarnation, this may resonate with you as well. So, for my Andromedans, what do we, what messages do we have for y'all? And what, what will help you out at this time? What messages do we have at this time? Okay, that the way that fell was like in reverse almost. Let's see. And see, I'm an intuitive reader, by the way. So... I don't really know like full uh, definitions or full explanations on what the cars be meaning sometimes. Like I'm still learning. I'm still an amateur right now. But at the same time, though, I've been studying for a while. So let's see. Uh oh, Y'all not really talking too much. And drama is y'all not really talking too much. Six of Pentacles, that was the first card that came out, so we're going to leave with that. Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So right now, y'all could be holding back with the strength. Y'all could be holding back the time, energy, money, resources, attention, knowledge. We're going to leave it there. Five of Cups, disappointment, usually. We're going to put that there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you got the four wands and the chariot. And you know what? The way it came out was like this. But, so, it could be something to do with a car in the house could be getting in your car to go towards a house could be leaving a house in your car you could be um having a solid like a, a stronger foundation with your with your house housing situation stable stability i'm over here shuffling confirmation cards so you could be shuffling through confirmations trying to find out you know uh What's the best way or the best route to do something? 
You could just be surfing through and trying to figure out something, pick some things out. Let's see as well. Uh, what what more cards do we have? It's like something something could be telling you not to give in to a certain situation, and somebody could be being hard headed, like. With the five of cups here as well with this rose, I'm thinking like rose, rose colored glasses. You could be seeing something with rose colored glasses, or and somebody could be trying to tell you something, or something, or some yeah, something could be trying to tell you something, and it's like they want to make sure you don't see something with rose colored glasses. You know what I mean? Like everything ain't as sweet as things may seem like especially when it comes to a situation that has something to do with giving and taking like something could be unfair yeah somebody could be matter of fact somebody could be real stingy with you know what i'm saying what they have to offer and they they causing a whole lot of commotion to you like they trying to bother you or they it could even just be um being real aggressive or you know, being like, I'm seeing like so much, uh, yeah, aggressive. I'm seeing like aggressive action. And you, you just one in this purple. You feel what I'm saying? You in this purple. Like, you see with the five of cups as well. And see, it's been, it's been like you've been having to bear a lot of things on your own. But whoever is in this red, this red headdress, with this red headdress, and also with this cup here. It's like, um, with the Five of Cups, it's like, okay, you see that these are the same people. You the one in the purple. So, I mean, at least that's how I'm taking it anyway. That's how I see it. You've been having to do things on your own. You've been having to hold things down, ten toes down. I'm here in Texas as well. Texas is very significant. Something in Texas. Something ha could have had. To, you could be from Texas. Something could have happened in Texas. Okay. Jeez. And that came out in the reverse. So we're going to leave that right there. Bring that here. Bring that here. Keep that there. Bring this here. And clarify it. Okay, find that with this. So, daughter of Earth. So that would be what Page of Pentacles, son of Earth, Prince of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be getting guidance through tarot, or you could just be someone uh, who knows a bit about the dark arts, or not dark arts, but you know the hidden arts. And you got eight of wands, I believe. Is that eight of wands? It might not be. It might be eight of pentacles as well. I think that's what that is. I'm not sure. I think that's... Is that Virgo? Might be Scorpio. I think it's Virgo. Yeah, because that's Earth. So it got to be eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, you could be working. You also could be taking a different direction in what you're working on. Or something that you're working on could be needing a different direction as well. Um, with this Six of Swords underneath of it, knowledge. It could be some type of knowledge is going to allow you to leave. Whether that's like uh, the green light on some type of information that you may need. Let me see. And it, Yeah, and it's definitely got something to do with work. So, whatever it is that you're working on. It could need a different route. You got the universe here as well. And the high priestess with the sun of fire, which I would think that's page of wands. It feels in a traditional te uh, de yeah, deck. But with this uh, conflict, I'm feeling like somebody is probably immature over a housing situation. It, it don't have to be that. It could also be somebody has, has a passion for a housing situation. But it's more like they give what they can or they have some type of uh, some type of I want to say like 
a small offer of love. They have a small offer of love that they can, you know, try to provide. They're looking towards having things like trying to eat, trying to ease the things uh, that's going on in their life. So some type of situation that you got going on, you could be, it's like somebody could be looking at it at a situation like you're not giving enough or you're not offering enough, but it's like your passion, you feel as though all you really need to offer really is passion, which will be love and affection, but it's not really like your attention seems to be focusing on your own self. Like you're not really focusing on nobody else because whatever it is that you're doing, you focus more on your craft or whatever, uh, whatever type of endeavors that you have dealing with business and work. I'm seeing that. And that could be causing a conflict or it could be a conflict over a vehicle situation. Also, it could be conflict with like authority. That's what I'm really seeing, like authority. But your victory, whoever you are, you you may seem, uh, you seem like kind of successful. So people could be seeing your victory and causing conflict over it trying to like destroy what you got going on and they going through they trying to take uh tactics that's like I'm, I'm hearing official tactics so it could be like official tactics you could be so it should be it could be like uh i'm i'm getting like a notice from a company or something like that and they they basically uh like you have to dispute something. You could be having to go through some type of dispute for some reason. What's going to be the result of this conflict? Because I ain't got enough information on that. What's the result of this conflict? What's the result of this conflict? What's the result of this conflict? Nine of Pentacles game. So you got the Nine of Pentacles twice in the temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but I'm thinking that you also just you you offering your cup, but it's like whoever you are as well, like you you tend to fill your own cup up first before you offer it. So it's like in order for you to offer your cup of love you have to be self-fulfilled and for you to be self-fulfilled is like more like focusing on yourself. And when it comes to the amount of love that you have to give, it's immense, but you don't give people that much love because it's like you, you realize that, okay, if I pour out my love into this, then, you know, am I going to get a return in my investment the same way I would, if I focus on myself and you realize that that's a no, because when it comes to you doing that, you've practiced that a lot a few times before. And it just seems as though it's just not, it hasn't been as rewarding as it is uh, for yourself. And, and that, that may cause a tower because it's like, whatever is going on, whatever it is that's going on, it's a lot of conflict, fire and like a whole bunch of like when i say fire that's like aggression that's what i'm seeing like aggression uh i'm i'm getting like people feeling like riled up on emotions hostile uh scrambling for things panicking so it's like you you really not giving a giving that much you know what i'm saying to a situation that seems as though it's it's kind of like a lost cause as far as what you could do anyway, because it's not going to be enough to save whatever it is that seems as though it might be falling apart or, or being over. And you got the chariot as well twice. So it could be something that you moving on from, or you could be investigating something as well. It's a lot of smoke here. So you could be either burning a lot of stuff or I'm getting, I'm, I'm hearing that somebody does burnaways or banishing Somebody is, could be trying to burn somebody away, burn something of somebody's. I'm also getting someone could be getting cremated. That's like for like one or two or 
You know what I'm saying? It's only a very select few I'm hearing about that. But, yeah, like the chariot, the chariot and what? The ten of swords. I'm getting it. It's more like you moving away from something. Like, I'm getting it. You're going to be moving away from something because something is over in strength. Because, like, you've proved how strong you are just by enduring so much. And with the chariot, it's a victory here, but it's definitely something that has to do with your car. Like, you could be definitely, you could be somebody who, um, has had to go through a lot of hardships. So it's like your car, you value your car. Or it could be that you get ready to get another car. Or it could be that, you know what I'm saying, uh, you trying to get your car fixed. It's a lot of like subconscious uh, energy around a vehicle. With the strength, and after the strength behind it is the Three of Swords, and the devil, it's like whatever is going on that seems as though it's a situation that you don't really want to deal with anymore. It's like who, whoever is causing it or whatever is causing it, because it could also be, like I said, a, a industry or a corporation or something like that. They're going to be heartbroken by you not participating as much as they would like you to in that. You know what I'm saying? Um. You could definitely be an earth sign. You could have earth strongly in your chart. Because we got the daughter of earth right here in reverse. So I'm getting that somebody, you got the daughter of earth right here. with. So first of all, I'm getting that somebody is just not, that it's like they taking back their offer. It's like reneging type. You know, if you was like, if somebody play cards, reneging is like, uh, you know, like, hmm, what's the best word to say that, you know, we nigga, well, for those who who play spades, they know what that means, but it's like when people used to call people Indian givers, even though that's really like a bad term because Indians don't give people stuff and then, uh, take it back. But, you know, some people do, some people, they feel as though that they, they be taking it back, but, you know. It's really to each his own when it comes to interpretations on, you know, like uh, regular sayings and mottos and stuff like that. But it's definitely an, an earth sign here with the son of earth. It's like it's not no love when it comes to an offer or it's like no not no love, but feelings. It's not really no feelings. That's when it comes to an offer. Like you got the daughter of earth in reverse. See, for me. Being that, cause like to keep it all the way a hundred, like I don't even really know fully what that card, like truly means. Like I still gotta look in the book for some of these cards, but it's like I'm getting when it comes to a woman, feminine energy. It's like when she's in reverse like that, it's just letting me know that she's not really trying to be uh, affectionate with whatever material that that she's trying to offer. Because when I see like daughter or son or something like that, like if it's not like one of the big cards, then I look at it like it's a small offer. You feel me? So and and that's what I think. That's how it is in in all the traditional tarot's uh, decks. But when when you got son of earth right here, he he's my business card. Like he's the card that that showed me he about business. So the way he looking is like, yeah, this this some money right here, like. You know what I'm saying? So it's really like all business. It, it's no it's no play or no fun. You know what I mean? Like, that's really what I'm getting from this. So it could be, you know, that you feeling like you unfair or you could be being unfair and not giving to a situation. But as well, though, I'm also seeing that the universe kind of is uh, allowing for things to either be uh like on some stinginess, you know what I'm saying? Somebody being stingy, like either you are being stingy or somebody being stingy with you, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody is being like greedy with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing greed as well with this four of pentacles and like some people trying to hold things close to their chest, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep stuff to themselves. They're not really trying to share. So it's like the universe is also allowing this though. Like whether it, like I said, whether it's you or somebody else, 
the universe is allowing this because whatever it is, it's, le it's going to lead somebody into material wealth and independence. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially with this nine, uh, nine of pentacles again, like it's going to be, it's big money. You know what I'm saying? This big money at play. And when I say big money at play, it could just be whatever that it is that you invested in, whether that's like, uh, a business, whether that's like a craft, a idea, it has potential. Like there's something that's that has potential, and it's like I'm getting that the universe wants you to step into that energy of not really needing to, you know, cooperate so much with others. Like put you in the energy of you able to know things by yourself on your own. You know what I'm saying? You are all you really need because the, with this high priestess card, the way she's sitting, it doesn't give me the energy of she just has to read cards. No, it gives me the energy of she's also all she needs because she's in a meditative stance. You know what I'm saying? Like that right there is usually how people start meditating. All they got, all she would have to do is position her fingers or her hands in a different way. You know, and we would all notice that she's, you know, in that type of formation that you would what that most people would uh, meditate in. So like that right there, it just lets me, it lets me know like, okay, this person is connecting in order to really bring about what it is. And also I'm seeing that this nine of pentacles could be your higher self. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you probably want to, all your investments, you probably want to become a better version of yourself that doesn't need any type of material help. So that's what you are becoming. That's what you are coming into, whoever you are. And it's like the best way to do it and focus on stability is to, of course, look to yourself and look at Mother Universe or, you know, the universe or, you know, your guide or your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever it is that you get your guidance from, you know, um, they they are, they have their attention on you. You know what I'm saying? They're making sure they do things, but they see you. You know, they notice you. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like you notice them. You keeping your face and your eyes on them. You know what I mean? And things are going to work out. I'm seeing with that conflict, you got nine of pentacles gain. It's like, okay, well, whatever it is, being that you got the chariot there and you got uh, gain right there it's a victory you know what I'm saying like whether it's you or them that you know it feels as though it's not really gonna like things is not really worth the investment no more because that's what I'm getting I'm getting that you feel as though something is not worth pouring into far as at least emotions you know what I'm saying because the five of cups it's that's like your emotion I'm getting that these right here these cups are emotions so somebody could have had uh gave emotions and it was like it was wasted. You know what I'm saying? They were wasted and it's like somebody could be like on your back about things that happened in the past, like wasted time. I'm getting wasted time or wasted effort. They could be on your back about wasted other effort, whether they have wasted any or you have. And it's I'm getting Right there with that, uh, with the purple, like I said, you and the purple, it's like you don't even want to hear that because whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, you still got, you still got things that you, that you do, uh, have a, a opportunity to invest in. So it's like, it's no point about all the wasted stuff for you to like go back and forth with that because whatever it is that you still have. That's what's gonna get you in, you know what I'm saying, and your in the place where you where you need to be. These I'm on and let me let me do another disclaimer right quick. Um disclaimer, quick disclaimer is all of this that I read, like all of these uh different cards that I be pulling and stuff, I'm only pulling for like high vibrational beings. I do not pull for any low vibrational beings. So ultimately, every time I read. I'm going to essentially try not even now, if I feel as though it's not what it is, like far as like 
uh, saying that something is going to, you know, happen good or whatever, then I'll say that. But most of the time when I pull, I get the energy of saying that, you know, things are going to look up, you know what I'm saying? Especially because I try to pull for high vibrational energies. So those who are being high vibrational, it's going to pay off, but everybody go through things. You feel me? Everybody. So we just, I'm just reading for the ones who trying to live better and trying to have better. You feel me? Not, not for the ones who are just not in that energy. You feel me? Like you got to want to do better in order to get there. You got to want to do better in order to receive a message that helps you do better. You feel what I'm saying? You got to put yourself in that space so that you can attract what it is that you want to be in. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's really who I do this for. I do this for, you know, people who are trying to be better because that's the reason that you would seek any answers or that you would even be curious about something that provides answers. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, confirmation. Clear. Like you could be shuffling for confirmation and this word right here would be confirmation. You feel me? So my apologies, but yeah, um, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull an oracle card. I'm being led to pull an oracle card as well. So what oracle card do we have? For the Andromedans right here. Sheesh. What oracle cards do we have for my Andromedans? What oracle card do we have for my drama? Is that like it wanted to come out? So we're going to pull it. Harmonic flight. I'm dropping cards. So things could, like you could be dropping something or dropping something off. You got she is the she of the lotus. So yeah, you are somebody who is definitely very connected. You tap into the higher, uh, the higher consciousness, the higher collective of, you know, energy the overall energy or you could be somebody who like meditates you do whatever it is that you you know what I'm saying need to to meditate but it's allowing you to grow your your third eye chakra your and your crown chakra is like receiving so many downloads and communication it's like amazing and it's also it's something about okay with this harmonic flight the fact that it I put it right here in the center Remember, I told you, you were the one that's in the purple. This person face off type job. But y'all might, y'all be, y'all like two of the same energies. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like y'all two of the same energies, but y'all totally different. One is cool and one is not. You know what I'm saying? One is cool and one is hot. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right. It's still, it still connects back to the same source, but. I'm getting that's mainly the reason why the universe is allowing this, because it's allowing for y'all to see differences within the situation. Like, OK, we may not be the same and we may not be, you know, uh, meant to be on the same wavelength. We are supposed to be different as we are. And we it's it's just more like accept the balance. You know what I'm saying? Accept the balance. Like everything don't have to be like you, you know what I'm saying? For you to actually get to where you're going, you know what I mean? It's it's like the differences that you have with whoever or whatever is allowing you to embrace you a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Like you may have a partner in this as well. Now, like for for the, I'm getting for the the ones who are in couples, it's like your couple. Your um your partner may not be like you, but they help you be you, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't have you can't have uh you can't appreciate heat without having something cold. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, as long as both of them exist, you have the ability to coexist. And you know what I'm saying, coexist in harmony, harmonic flight, you know what I'm saying? Harmony. It doesn't have to be a beef just because, you know what I'm saying, it's it's not, it's not, y'all not on the same wavelength. It don't have to be a beef. It just has to be an understanding that, or understanding and overstanding that we both exist, we both don't see the same, but yet we can still achieve the same goal. 
and that's to I'm getting ultimately that's just to that's to uh be you know be independent and be self sufficient. That's really what it is to be independent and self sufficient. You know what I mean? That's really the goal far as you anyway. What you trying to do? So with that she of the lotus here and this harmonic flight, yeah, you definitely got downloads and you getting divine insight and you paying attention to what really matters. So that's what I'm really getting. Uh, your third eye has been open for so long. So you've been able to see things hidden for uh, quite some time. And it's getting to the point where it's expanding throughout your mind. So like the things that you know is like, it's like you could, you could have been experiencing like headaches every now and then, but it's like, it's because your brain is literally growing. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that your, your brain is growing. Everybody brain grow, of course, like with age and time, but I'm talking about like your brain is expanding because of the knowledge that you're receiving. And it's not like just like regular, uh, human knowledge it's more like knowledge of like the cosmic uh cosmic uh intelligence you feel what i'm saying so yeah like if you don't know anything about andromeda's i mean andromeda or you know what i mean anything like that you might want to check into it because you might resonate nine times out of ten you're going to resonate with that like you're going to resonate with the uh descriptions and the the uh uh what you call that the, um, not the script, not only descriptions, but the characteristics. Yeah, the characteristics you might also have and, and show those qualities as well. I'm, I'm getting another um quick message. I have to uh, let you know is sacral chakra. You could have been working on your sacral chakra for quite some time, um, but whatever it is, whether it's whether you have it or you just now are being uh, brought attention to it. It's like, that's the main thing. They want you to pay more attention to your sacral chakra. So whether that's like, be uh, put it more in action, or if that's like um, healing it a little bit more, you know, whatever it is, or it even could be something that's dealing with the sacral chakra. You could have an idea that, you know, uh, helps the sacral chakra. Or as well, you could also have... Uh, I want to say like you could be using your sacred chakra a little bit too much. So whatever it is, the main thing that they want me to tell you is just to pay a little bit more attention to your sacred chakra as well. Okay. So and in vegetables, some type of vegetable could help. Like you might want to look into that as well. Like vegetables. The more I know, the more information I'll bring to y'all. Like I said, I'm just starting this. You know what I mean? But Hey, you know, we all got to start somewhere, you know what I mean? And in areas that's like this, like when it comes to like just reading energy, it's like, okay, uh, I just, it, it just enhances my intuitive gifts already. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what I'm getting as well. That's what I'm getting as well. Yeah. And keep a hat on your head because your crown is being so active keep a hat on your head because it's like people are, I'm getting that somebody is like wishing on your head. Yeah. They wishing on your head. And I, and it's not like, it ain't nothing to be scared of or nothing like that, but it's just like, it ain't nothing but rah-rah. You know what I mean? It ain't really nothing that's, that's uh anything to worry about because like, I'm getting this, like, with this hand in the sky. Put your hands in the sky. Put your hands in the air. They always say, wave it like you don't care. <laughs> My apologies, y'all. I'm corny. But, uh, like, dancing. Dancing could help you. Dancing could definitely help you. Um, And not only that, you could be dancing. You could be a dancer. But not only that, I'm getting that these people, these people don't really know how to connect. You know what I'm saying? Who, whoever it is or whatever it is that's trying to be on your back, they don't really know how to connect. So they're actually looking at you 
and, and studying you on how to do that. So it's like when somebody is nothing like you, they have to, uh, in order for them to learn, they have to see what they're not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you teaching people just by being you. You know what I mean? You teaching people a different way of themselves just by being you. You know what I'm saying? You showing people just you, you showing people who they are, and you also revealing who you are. So keep doing that, cause we all we all need help. Everybody needs help. The earth helps everybody, and everybody needs to help the earth. But what what can you? How can you help the earth first if you don't help each other first? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, main and you can't really help nobody else until you help yourself. And that's what this is really about. You trying to get to the point where you ain't gotta you ain't gotta think about help. You know what I mean? If somebody help you, that's fine, but you don't need it. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. I love y'all. I'm a we gonna uh take this up another time. And you know, just be safe, man. I really do love y'all. All right. Hope y'all having a good day. Continue to have a good day. You know what I'm saying? Spread the energy, spread the love. I'm out. 100. I feel anointed. It's gonna bring out whatever you keep in dormant. I work for money, now money work for me. You my love.